Well, g'day there. Thought I'd do a little um, upgrade to the flood event we just went through. ding a ling a ling um, Survived. And uh, you would not believe the generosity of the community who have um, assisted me. It's been a good thing. I mean, apparently we just got another two inches of rain, which is like 50 millimetres. That was on the way home today from work, so I can't talk about work on social media. That's... <laughs> we won't talk about that. But what we can talk about is um, how generous the community spirit has been. And uh, you can see the shirt, it's brand new. I've never in my life a $110 shirt before. I mean, how, how smick. This one is a little bit large. I should have. It was actually not that I'm blaming them, but they, <laughs> they told me it was an extra large. And when I got home and unpacked it out of the package, it was extra extra large and you know i'm only extra large i'm not extra extra but how good are the duds the duds mate and the shoes don't forget the shoes the shoes i couldn't believe it they're giving this stuff away i've got a tag here on the pants somewhere that's oh, on the back check that out Two two hundred dollar pants. I've never owned two hundred dollar pants in my life. <laughs> and here I am walking into my shipping container in two hundred dollar pants, hundred and ten dollar shirt, and the shoes. <laughs> Check the box out. Got a little bit wet. Check the box out. Hundred and fifty bucks. Hundred and fifty bucks shoes. How generous have these companies been? Like, you know, we we could talk a, a little bit a, a little bit about how generous they're usually not. But we're not doing that today. We're here to give thanks and praises. And here's my other pair of shoes. Right, I haven't worn these ones yet. This is the other box. Check this out. Hundred and a hundred dollars, two hundred bucks, <laughs> two hundred dollars shoes. Have a look at them; they're fucking great. I really like them. I can't wait to wear these. Smooth, eh? We got like sewn-in edges. Two hundred dollars shoes, and I didn't know. You know I just picked them up yesterday. I have to say these corduroy sh pants. I keep going back to the place saying I want size 36 because I can always put a belt on. I'm thinking now I should have just got 34. Apparently they didn't get a single pair of 34s because it's obviously the most popular size. So once I get a belt on, <laughs> look at this. I even got. I even got freaking tie I got a tie I can now look like a cartoon character with a tie how good how good and I mean all of this out of a flood event all this stuff is ordinarily going to the garbage tip they sell it for their sale price, like I've got a few shirts down there as well I've picked up already. They start at eighty nine dollars. They put them on sale for thirty nine or twenty nine dollars. And then when they can't sell them because they're last season stuff, ordinarily this stuff goes to the tip into landfill. So people can't benefit from it at all. Because that's how industry works. That's how big business works. 
but because of this flood event, this natural disaster, instead they're giving it away to victims of the flood. So we're getting hundreds, thousands of dollars worth of stuff that would ordinarily just get thrown into the tip. Makes you think, eh? Like, what is wrong with Western society? I'm wearing like 500 bucks worth of clothes. 500 bucks? I mean, shit, I normally buy $10 singlets at the Lowe's store and lucky if I can buy $30 shorts or whatever, $25 jeans. It's weird, jeans are cheaper than shorts even though there's more material in them. $30 jeans at Kmart, whatever. Whatever t-shirts. You know, I haven't bought, bought new clothes in years because I just can't afford to. I mean, 110 bucks for a shirt? There's no way in this whole wide world I would spend that much money on a single shirt. That's like two weeks worth of groceries, man, for a single person like me who knows how to budget, knows how to cook. Hundred and ten for a shirt. A, a freaking shirt. A piece of cloth. That's very, very nice cloth, I must say. Very, very nice. I must we go back and um get one in just extra large as well. For hundred and ten bucks, God. We're giving them away free. Because we're flood victims. So anyway. I'm not getting struck by lightning. It's not flogging down with rain. Apparently it did on the way here. But you can still see the water running down the road on my way home. And, um, what can I say? I'm a survivor. I'm a thriver. And I'm a beer drinker. Cheers. happy update to the flood.